More than one and a half million vials of remdesivir is expected to head out to patients later this week. And Dr. Malathi Srinivasan with Stanford Healthcare joins us now by FaceTime, and she's here to talk about remdesivir. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Great to see so you, Michelle. Let's talk about this. Yes. Yeah, it's always good to see you. Um, before the FDA approved it for emergency use to treat coronavirus, Stanford Healthcare was actually involved in medical trials of the drug. What do we know about it? Well, you know, we were really lucky. We got started extremely early in February, as soon as we knew uh, COVID-19 was coming. And the priority initially was to treat those people who were most sick, so the hospitalized patients, and we had to have something to offer them. So we partnered with Gilead as part of the first Gilead trial, which was just to get people on treatment. And um, the questions that we asked were, was it safe and how long should we give it? So what we know is that it's very safe. Only about 3% of people um, uh, have had significant side effects, including uh, liver function tests. But then uh, the, ten, the both 10 days and five days were equally effective. So about half of those people went home. And this is a study of about a, um, a 600 people in 160 countries. And if you take out Italy, because they were fairly overwhelmed, the rest of the data is about the same, uh, 10 days versus five days. And very importantly, early treatment made a difference. So if you were on treatment within 10 days of your symptom on that you would go home 60% of the time versus 50% of the time at 14 days. And the NIH study, um, which was a second uh, major study, asked a different question, which was how effective is the medication? And I think earlier you just highlighted some of the important things, which it's about 30% better than placebo. 11.6% um, uh, people uh, died on placebo versus 8% on remdesivir. And um, uh, people went home about four days earlier, uh, 15 days versus 11 days. So we know it's safe, effective. We only need to give it for five days, and early treatment is better. All right. And right now, you are also offering testing and moving ahead with other drug trials. Oh, we're so excited. You know, what, now that we have something effective for people who are our most sick, it's time to turn to uh, to really treating those people who are out in the community. And uh, there's the, there falls under two support, two different uh, categories. The first is general immune support. And uh, that's with a medication called um, interferon lambda done, we have that trial open. And the second are uh, antivirals against the medication, against the virus itself. And we have both Camistat and uh, Favipiravir that we're hoping to start. And Favipiravir is very important because it's the oral form of uh, the same uh, enzyme system that's inhibited by remdesivir. So we're hoping that uh, we'll get some good news in that arena. So the, the major take-home point is, please, if you are COVID positive, um, please, please, please uh, sign up for a clinical trial. Um, it'll, tr we're trying to prevent uh, people from getting seriously ill. And more importantly, we're also trying to prevent spread within families. Okay, so let's talk about antibody testing now. Um, what have doctors learned so far from them? Sure. Um, well, you know, antibodies are proteins that are precision missiles that uh, are targeted against infection that our immune system makes. And um, at Stanford, we were uh, really lucky. We got an early supply of the uh, pr uh, COVID protein and uh, of, of the COVID plasmid. And then within two weeks, we had a CLIA-approved test. Um, and so we can currently test about 10,000 people per week, about 1,500 per day. And um, what we know is that at least um, the, the, the CLIA-approved tests our test uh, in those people who had um, a PCR that was positive for uh, uh, for the COVID virus, almost 100% of them are testing positive uh, with our IgG, with one of the uh, antibody tests at about a month. So we know that our test and the tests from most of the major labs and most of the major universities are, are very accurate. Um, now, there's a lot of open questions. So right now, the major use for the test is for public health officials. It's not for individual decision making, for it to let us know how far this virus is spread in our communities, especially in some of our underserved communities where it seems to have a disproportionate effect. Um, and the reason that we can't use it yet to say, oh, should I go back to work or what does this mean for me, is because just because you're positive with the antibody, it doesn't tell us um, uh, if you can get reinfected or not, um, or how long, if you are immune, how long that immunity will last. Stanford Healthcare joins us every Monday right here on CBSN Bay Area. So tune in next week for a new topic.